Good day. This message is for those with sun and Aquarius. If you don't know your sun sign, there's a link in the description box below where you can get your free birth chart. This message for sun and Aquarius is for the week of January 18th through the 24th, 2021. Although whenever you come across it, it's fine. All right. So the spiritual warfare for this week is that you're surrounded by energies that's negatively impacting your health, whether it's people, your literal environment. Overall, though, it's negatively impacting your health. I repeat, for spiritual warfare, you're surrounded by energies that are negatively impacting your health. Now, in order to combat that spiritual warfare towards your health, elemental healing is recommended, such as salt healing, salt baths, even if you put the salt in a shower, crystal healing, and hiking if you're around a area with mountains or big hills. I've put the link below for a simple set of crystals for your crystal healing, which you can lay down or sit in crisscross applesauce. Put on one of those um, guided meditations. I'll put the link in there for or healing. And you can hold the crystals in your left hand, your right hand, or if you decide to lay down, you can place them where your chakras are, such as your third eye, your throat, your heart, and so forth, okay? Um, again, I put links down there for your salt baths. I put a detox along with a uh, one for energy. Now for karma for Sun and Aquarius, for this upcoming week, first thing in the morning during sunrise, you really need to listen to the videos Overcome Self-Imposed Limitations, it's 9 minutes and 45 seconds, and Clearing Self-Sabotage, which is 11 minutes and 46 seconds. Venus is the planet for sun signs and Aquarius this week. Spiritual values are more important than practical considerations. I repeat, spiritual values are more important than practical considerations. The message that Venus has is love the good in all things and observe how all good things will be attracted to you. The warning from Venus is the beauty I seek is not merely that on the surface of things. What good is a beautiful fruit if it is rotten at the core? The sign and house message for Sun and Aquarius this week is the truth is you have been your own biggest enemy. There is a need for privacy, meaning stop telling your business to people. Stop telling your business to the internet. Projecting gossip, superficial conversations, and family news is not um, pleasing your ancestors. All of those characteristics are making you literally ugly on the outside. What you don't want to be known as is exactly what you look like right now. Those who dwell too much on their self-doubts act in a weakened self-defeating manner that's creating suspicious enemies along the way. In regards to that this week, while creating good karma or bad karma, let's focus on creating good karma. Speak positive things of yourself to yourself. For the recent past pool, 
the Queen of Pentacles came out. And the Queen of Pentacles is an energy. It doesn't have to specifically be male or female gender. It's an energy. The Queen of Pentacles represents someone that cares for their family. And they maintain balance between work and home. You could be a parent. And if you're not a parent, you're considered self-made. All right. Presently, energetically wise, sun and Aquarius, you're shutting down. You're emotionally overwhelmed. You've become materialistic and there's really a need for self-care. There's a need to reaffirm the feminine energy on the inside. Now, as human beings, we possess both male, masculine, excuse me, masculine and feminine energies. Presently, you're needing to show more attention to your feminine energy. You're looking on the outside for approval. You have outdated ways of thinking. Some of y'all are abusing your power. You're experiencing stagnation. And you really need to connect with spirit. There's a lot of delays draining your energy. There's a need for closure because you're missing opportunities by not tying up loose ends. And also there's bad luck with money. Sun and Aquarius, you've realized you need to ascend. That's how you made it to this video, okay? So this week, you really need to take time away from your normal chaos and busy life and create space for self-discovery. Meditate and do some soul searching. The answers that you're looking for is literally within you. Within you'll find that knowledge and clarity. You've reached the end of a situation and it's time to transition. So allow yourself to let go of the past. You need to let go of the past in order to add energy for new beginnings. Okay. Now in the near future, use your inner power and strength, putting your ideas into action. Use subtle influence when confrontation with others. With you putting an end to situations, there is going to be confrontation this week, whether it's at work, at school, or with family and friends. By using subtle influence, that means precise and clear. Clearly communicate your truth when putting ends to those situations because you're needing to ascend. So when dealing with those energies that are negatively impacting your health, be clear in your truth. Now for healing this week, it's your root chakra, which is your base chakra. With you ascending, it's time to build a strong foundation. You need to tell yourself that you're able, okay? Believe in yourself. Not looking for others to confirm what you already know you need to do or to back up your decisions. The only person you need is you. Create stability and security by adequately providing yourself with the basic needs of a healthy life, such as shelter, food, water, and clothing. Use your creativity to build a strong foundation as this is an essential key to your survival and growth. The more inner and outer stability you have, the more grounded and fulfilling your life will become. Respect yourself and take care of your physical body by nurturing it and nourishing it. 
Your body will tell you what it needs. Wear some red. I've also included a link to Reiki for your root chakra in the description box below. Your mantra for healing this week for Sun and Aquarius is releasing expectations. Have more faith and learn how to trust your intuition. Only the highest possibilities come to be, whether I envision them or not. Release expectations of what you're expecting to happen, okay? Don't focus so much on the outcome, but the path and the steps that it takes to get to that outcome. Your self-care for your soul, which you do need to create a ritual for the next seven days to care for your soul, okay? Your inner child requested for 15 minutes every day at the beginning of the video. I definitely said at the sunrise in the morning. You can go on the weather app and look at the actual time that the sun will be rising. Okay, so spend 15 minutes outside every day. Enjoy fresh air and tune into the beauty of your natural surroundings. Smell some flowers. Walk on the grass barefoot. That's what's called grounding. Um, shorter ways to ground are by walking, eating nourishing foods, and touching the earth. Put your hand in the dirt like you did when you was a kid. <laughs> All right. So for present self, <laughs> present self, it's going to sound awkward, but if you don't smoke, Continue not smoking. If you do smoke, present self is asking you to stop smoking for the next seven days. Um, to anyone that does magic, present self said take seven days away from doing fire magic. Okay? Higher self. Higher self for sun and Aquarius, they really want you to get in tune with your your healing okay dream journal so if you don't already have a journal please purchase one they're at the dollar tree dollar general family dollar walmart amazon wherever get a journal okay your higher self wants you to write down what lessons can you learn from your dreams your higher self wants you to use positive affirmations. Speak to yourself with love and compassion and extend it to all those that you meet. In your journal for higher self, they want you to write down what thought patterns are preventing you from being positive at all times when speaking to yourself. And lastly, Higher Self has requested that you create art. What blocks, real or imagined, is stopping you from making art? What practical steps can you take to work through those blocks? There were some recommendations such as using rocks or leaves or pen and paper, draw it out. Even if you aren't like, you know, good good at drawing, this is about self-expression, getting out what's in you that's holding you back from your spiritual growth, you understand? The point of this self-care message for your higher self is not saying strive to become an artist. You have an art inside you, your life is a masterpiece literally and you're the artist of that but holding yourself back is stopping blessings from coming to you how to self-love affirmation for Aquarius sun signs is I visualize all my limitations falling away one by one 
until I am safe, healed, and whole. Let go of limitations and recognize the true beauty of your being. So Aquarius Suns for January 18th, 2021 through January 24th, 2021. The universe really wants you to focus on you, your inner health. Self-care for your soul. Don't look for external validations of your decisions. Close out loose ends. Let go of expectations. And most importantly, start loving yourself. The insecurities and gossip that you're projecting upon other people at work or on the internet, it's eating you up on the inside. And the universe doesn't want that for anybody, okay? So that's the message I have for Sun Signs and Aquarius for January 18th through January 24th, 2021. I'll see you next week.